Welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. In this video, I am pleased to present four watches from Fortis, which is a brand that I have yet to feature on my channel. And as a watch enthusiast who really likes a good tool piece, a good sports watch, it's about dang time that I featured Fortis. So I have the new Strato liner on loan from the brand. This is not a sponsored presentation. I'm not being paid in either product or with any monetary compensation. But that being said, I really like what Fortis has brought to the table here. And I think uh, you will too. So let's start with some important specifications. We have a 41 millimeter case that is crafted out of recycled stainless steel. We have a block bracelet presentation here. Notice the angled cut lugs that has uh, just a unique look, no harsh edges here. And I like the fact that there is a screw attachment rod to complete the look and attach the block bracelet to this angular recycled stainless steel case. Overall, this watch just carries a very overbuilt, hefty type of feel without feeling blocky, chunky, top heavy, or too tall. And I think part of that is the fact that we have a very substantial bracelet and a substantial clasp. So it has a balanced stance on wrist. It's 41 millimeters in diameter, so it's not massive. It's surprisingly wearable, but you cannot forget that you're wearing a significant sports watch on wrist. And I don't know about you guys, but I like that feeling from time to time. Sometimes I just crave having a watch that I can't forget that it's there, but it's still comfortable and refined feeling. It's just weighty and hefty and balanced. And it inspires that sense of confidence that, yeah, I could take this to the lake. I could take this camping. I could take this to the track. You know, uh, this has that feeling. And again, I like that as a watch enthusiast. So continuing with the specs here, we have 200 meters of water resistance with a screw down signed crown at the three o'clock position. Uh, the crown will have three different gaskets in the crown assembly. We do have this large milled clasp that I mentioned that carries a quick adjust system. There's among the nicest that I've handled to date. I think I would rank this right up there with Glasshuta Original and Omega and Rolex too with their glide lock. So I really like this quick adjust clasp in the block bracelet. Notice the links carry full articulation. They're rather short and there are screw pins on both sides connecting the links together. And then let's go to the dial. We'll go in on a macro level and take a look at the detail work. So you guys can see a dust dial, a textured dial with Superluminova X1 Lume. It's baby blue and natural light, but in low light, it glows a bright cyan tone. And you might be wondering why it's really found on one half of the dial. It's an interesting layout. I'll drop in a uh, diagram here, but essentially this is to time events during space travel with Virgin Galactic specifically. So even notice the blue, the cyan blue ties in with the Virgin Galactic logo. This watch was meant to be used in space. So not only is it designed with the loom layout, with the chronograph layout, with that overbuilt confidence inspiring design and execution, but the movement within the case was tested in the upper stratosphere, which is really cool. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But all of the dial details, they're crisp, they're clean, they're well laid out, and they're all visible under a flat sapphire crystal with very satisfying anti-reflective treatment. Now let's talk about that movement that was tested in the upper stratosphere. Not every movement that's sold in the Strato Liner S41 will have been taken to the upper stratosphere, but when the movement was being developed, uh, it was tested in conjunction with the Swedish Space Corporation. Uh, Fortis took 13 of these Verk Zipsane or Work 17 movements and they placed it in a gondola in a high altitude weather balloon and sent it up into the upper stratosphere where it endured extreme <laughs> temperatures as low as negative 60 degrees Celsius. Temperature shifts, obviously radiation, wind, shock, and a use in microgravity. The balloon then descended after 90 minutes and it landed in a forest in Finland. There was a rather big shock when it landed and uh, the movements performed very, very well. So uh, I like the fact that this is not just lip service. It's not a watch that's saying, hey, we're inspired by space travel. 
<laughs> no, it goes beyond that. Fortis uh, developed this movement in conjunction with La Joux Pere, and uh, they took a Vaux 7750 base movement from Etta. They modified it. It's now a column wheel chronograph with very cool austere finish work, 60 hours of power reserve, and tested it again in the upper stratosphere. So I think that's I think that's really awesome. These are highly adjusted. They're hand assembled and regulated. Hence, part of the cost of this watch. I know some of you might be complaining about the five thousand dollar retail price on the block bracelet, but considering the modification uh, with La Joux Pere with a uh, Valjoux seventy seven fifty base, with all of the testing involved, the detail work, the robustness, the engineering that goes into creating a good clasp with the micro adjust. All of that stuff, it's not surprising that it's 5000 In fact, I think Fortis could charge more uh, considering what you get here with the triple gaskets, the dust dial, the anti-reflective treatment, all of the stuff, the awesome X1 loom. <laughs> this is a cool piece. I hope I don't sound like I'm just spouting an ad here because this is not a paid presentation by any means. Uh, but I just really like this, but I guess that's no surprise because I am a watch enthusiast that loves history, space, and a good sports piece or a good tool watch. And this has all of those elements. Now let's talk about a couple small details before we wrap up the video. We have a Bearlock Fleur Orange 13 color date in the date wheel. It's only found on 13. And maybe some of you can enlighten me in the comment section, but I'm unfamiliar with the reason why that orange, that neon orange is only found on the 13. Perhaps it's something specific with Fortis as a brand, uh, but that is found in the dial. I think that's pretty interesting. I like the fact that this bezel carries a rubber brake visually. That's also found in the case back. And I like the German phrase that's found two places in the watch. One, it's found in the stainless steel re on the dial side, obviously, then the other uh, instance is found on the reverse of the watch in that smoked sapphire crystal that covers the Vergsiebsein movement. You'll notice the phrase der Himmel ist nicht das Ende der Welt, which essentially means the sky or the heavens is not the end of the world, which is fitting considering that this movement went into the upper stratosphere and you have your loom markings in X1 Superluminova that tie in with a virgin galactic flight pattern for going into low earth orbit. So I think that's pretty dang cool. Now continuing, you guys will see a rocket tip counterweight in the elapsed minute hand. You'll notice the function pushers carry that concave type of form uh, for the chronograph. The actuation is very crisp, very quiet, very satisfying. Now the watch will come on either the block bracelet or you can save a little bit of money and get it on a leather strap and it will come in four different iterations. My favorite is the one I put on for this video. This is the white dust dial. We also have cool gray, which is nice, cosmic gray, and one that will be exclusive to in-store. It's not found on the e-commerce site. This one is called Blue Japan, and I think that one is also very sharp. Now, one thing I'd like to mention as we close the video and that is Fortis wants to grow their YouTube channel. I'm all about supporting other content creators. Uh, so I would, I would really like it if you guys would subscribe to Fortis because they will be giving away one of these Strata Liner S41s at the end of the year on December 31st of this year. So the only requirement is that you subscribe to their channel. They're trying to grow their channel. Uh, you can look at some of the videos they've produced I like the one where they show the testing of this movement in the upper stratosphere. I just found that fascinating as a watch enthusiast. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to them on YouTube. They will be doing a giveaway of the color of your choice for this specific Strata Liner S41. And that will take place at the end of this year on December 31st. So uh, stay tuned to their channel for specifics on that. But again, the only requirement is that you subscribe to their YouTube channel. But guys, reach out with questions. Overall, this has been an awesome watch. I'm glad that I finally reviewed Fortis on the channel. I look forward to reviewing other Fortis watches. So uh, hopefully you'll see more models in the coming months here and we can take a look at the detail work and uh, really delve into what is a robust sports brand 
that I find impressive. So guys, again, have a great day. Reach out with questions. Links in the description. I'll see you next time.